Hello dear ones, it's Alice. So I have something for you. I've just been experimenting with my high heart. And um, I remembered how in the last couple of months I've had two uh, energy centers installed in my aura. You know, all these changes are apparently being made in the, the aura, the energy field around the head. And um, so what happened was first I felt um, an energy center being installed at my right ear. And then a few nights later, I felt an energy center being installed at my left ear. And like all of the enhancements and organelles and so forth that we've been receiving lately, in the middle of the night, for instance, in my case, I just didn't know what it was for. You know, I, uh, I, I've heard uh, in wake, on waking, I've heard a kind of a transition from multi-dimensional surfing to back to the physical world, and it, that that window of of, of change from multi-dimensional to uh, to 3D, 4D. I've heard um, advice about how different parts of the newly installed whatever it is around the head can be used for this or that like once I heard that there was like um, a wedge a blunt edged wedge that that could be slid down from up above the head here on the right diagonally through the head to about there and that that would shut out um, incoming telepathic communications and the spirit that told me that tried it a couple of times and and it worked perfectly for them and then later that day I couldn't figure out how to do it at all anymore <laughs> and so <laughs> and so today so I'm just waiting for like instructions that I can consciously remember in in 3d 4d uh, about all these wonderful new um, enhancements to my energy field my electromagnetic field so um, I have a feeling that, that that's not going to take place until, until the energy of Earth becomes more um, uh, settled at a higher, at least the energy of wherever I am becomes settled in a higher vibration. Like right now I'm living in the big city and there's quite a bit of discord here in the energy fields, just an incredible amount of it. So. Every day I spend a lot of time clearing and getting back to the place where my DNA is as open as it was at first thing in the morning, you know. Uh, so I just think it's going to take time for the actual energy of Earth in the, in the big cities to, to purify and um, uplift the populations of beings there, you know. And, it's going to take a little longer, but Earth is working very well with all that, and I, I trust that Earth will take care of it. So in the meantime, I have an operating system installed that I don't know how to use. So, <laughs> so today I was, I was sitting and I was experimenting with the high heart, and I got the feeling that I could feel, I actually was using my, my right hand on my high heart, just as well, like this. And um, then I, I thought about those two energy centers at my ears. And, and I, I concentrated my awareness to visualize and feel the energy of those two energy centers at the same time as I felt my high heart. So what you have is, is um, really a wedge-shaped energy again. Um, <laughs> and um, our triangular-shaped energy, actually. And the triangle is a very strong component of of dream world these days for 
a lot of people. Um, keeping in mind that there is a lower triangle also. So this triangle, this top triangle, could counter the clearing energy that's taking place in the lower triangle right now. Uh, so I tried it and it provided a very stable field of tranquil, calm energy. So I just thought I'd tell you about the, um, the upper triangle. <laughs> And so, if you don't have, if you feel that you don't have the new equipment around your ears, then, um, or if it, you know, it's, it's possible for it to go away and come back again. Just like our DNA collapses in, in discordant sound situations like traffic and motor noise and uh, around discordant music and like that and then as soon as a, the the scene is set for a more uplifted um, energy it, it our DNA springs back out again you know it wants to be out there so so if we've lost our our energy centers at the ears or if they are not installed yet may I suggest just using the using this. Use Spirit to Team, install um, new software around the head for the all through free will. All right, and there's a number of stages of installation, so unless you install some of the other stuff, you're not likely to get the ear stuff, so so you might want to repeat this this request uh, a few days running, you know, while things upgrade for you, and then try the meditation. Even if you don't have the the centers, the energy centers, you can still practice the meditation, and and it will be effective. Maybe not as effective as with the new organelles, but it'll be a start, you know, and it'll help balance. I feel the lower chakra the lower triangle energy. The thing about the lower triangle energy right now, uh, those, those in the old system, those, those first, second, and third chakra energies are shared with all the world, all, the, all humankind. And so there's really no such thing as clearing those, those chakras, that triangle right now, because as we sleep or as we slip momentarily into unconsciousness, the energy streams in from all over the world, particularly in the large cities that happens. And so uh, it hits our, the uh, neurons in our intestine. I, I'm sure you know about the gut brain, right? It hits the, those neurons and they absorb that energy as, as like sound energy. So, so you can hear uh, chatter. You know when your lower triangle is not clear because you can hear clear audience chatter in there if you can sense the gut, gut brain talking, which is not really your own, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or even if it is your own, it still needs clearing, right? So, so there's a whole process to go through there, of clearing all that out, just settling it down, putting the hand, putting the hand down on the belly, telling the cells there how much we love them, saying that that it's all right to that we hear them, that we love them, and that it's that I love my belly, <laughs> I love my tummy. How about that? I love my heart, I love my tummy, and I love my heart, I love my tummy. Until, because the tummy has a very bad rap these days. It does. Nobody wants to have one. Where would we be without one, right? So it needs to know we love it. Yeah, that might be why it's out there looking for like friends in all the wrong places. <laughs> So I love my, I love my heart. I love my tummy. And then visualize this other 
uh, energy field, this other triangle energy, balancing and clearing the lower triangle. Take care. Love y'all lots.